Fritzy. Starting out of Carver's Gap, going southbound, we have kind of a little pine forest. Um, it's really beautiful, so just some switchbacks as we do this first climb today. Good morning. So my husband Colin and our dog Fritz walked I don't know, first half mile or so out with me. And they just turned around to go back to the car. I had a day and a half, to, actually not, like two full days, and then maybe the morning of a third day till I get to Irwin. My pack is so heavy because I packed out so much like fresh food and not one pound of chocolate, but two pounds because apparently there's no amount of chocolate that's too much at this point. And Sorry, my nose is running this morning. Sniffly. Um, yeah, we are at the 380 mile mark. So hopefully the next time I see them, it will be Appalachian Trail through hike, which is kind of badass. Pretty stoked about that. And I'm gonna try to catch up with High Viz. He's probably five miles ahead of me, 10 miles, somewhere in that range. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. And, wow, I was planning out, like, my next food stops, and 380 miles is not that far. Um, now that, you know, I've settled into my 18 to 22 a day, it's going to go quick. Three weeks or so, maybe a little more with some zeros, or, or I won't take any more zeros, but zeros. So, all right. I'll check in later. Whew. It's kind of hard to climb and talk. Still. <laughs> Good evening. It's about five o'clock. Super cloudy out. And it's getting dark so early. And I am still hiking. So I got to the shelter here. 19 miles. There's a campsite in three and a half. And I have some job interviews tomorrow afternoon, which I am really excited about. So I just want to make sure that I get into town like super early, have time to prepare. So I'm going to do more miles. So I got water here because there's no water up the mountain. And it's like 2,000 feet though in three miles. So if I can find like a s spot to stealth and then mile or two just to make tomorrow just a little bit shorter, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to have spicy marinara with bison and rice noodles for dinner. And that sounds really yummy. Because I've eaten mainly chocolate today. Because I packed out two pounds of chocolate in a sandwich. <laughs> My pack is a little heavy. We're just having two days worth of food. So, yeah. It's a little chilly. Put on my raincoat and my buff. And I'm going to... Keep on hiking. It's not been an exciting day. I saw two section hikers who were gonna bail because of the weather. And that's about and happy. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> so off I go. It's starting to get foggy and a little misty rain. Um, this is to be really heavy fog tonight, which is gonna make seeing the trail in the morning incredibly difficult. This is where I camped last night, and we have 14 miles into town. It's about 8 o'clock, so I'm going to do the last little bit of this climb, and then it's pretty much ridge walking and then downhill the rest of the day, so it should be not too bad. It's very cloudy and kind of somewhat drizzly this morning. But it was a beautiful scene to wake up to. It was really dark when I got here last night. Favorite type of hiking.
Hello. So, um, doing the climb out of Uncle Johnny's. Super foggy. You can't see anything. Uh, great night last night. We had quite a few sobos there. Kind of the bubble that we're in right now. And we all ordered pizza and hung out and hid from the rain. It was crazy raining all night. Um, like it just never let up. It was totally pouring. And the river, the Nolichucky River, went up 25 feet. So it was like not really much yesterday. And today it's just like crazy rushing. Um, so Hyvis went out. He's going to try to do 20. I think the youngins are going to do six. And I'm going to be somewhere in between today. Um, still trying to finish Thanksgiving weekend. And it is November 12th. So I'm getting close and excited. And. Next stop will be Hot Springs. All right, leaving the no business shelter where I just had some lunch and going back out into the fog. I'm gonna try to do another 11 or so today. which will put me just under 17 miles. I assume this is the way the trail goes. I'm not really sure. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, there's a blaze on the right track. About four miles left to four and a half to the shelter I was targeting. I'm not sure I'm going to make it before dark, but I do see a little sun peeking through up there. And it's so cloudy down here. All right. It is five o'clock. It's getting dark. It's foggy. And I have like two and a half miles left, probably less than that. So I'm going over Little Bald, stay at the shelter, hit Big Bald in the morning. <sighs> it's like an 8,000 foot day, so in order to get the 16.7 or 16.9 in, whatever it was, I'm night hiking again. Leaving a Bald Mountain Shelter, it's around 7.30, way later than I anticipated, but got some new sleep on my brand new non-leaking sleeping pad. So I'm super excited and feeling rested and we're gonna get hit Bald Mountain first thing this morning. And I don't know what we're gonna do today in terms of mileage, somewhere between 19 and 22, I think. Some deer on the trail this morning. Hopefully they mosey along pretty quickly. Beautiful views this morning. Here we are at Big Bald, 5,500 feet and some change. Some great views this morning. I'm um, so glad the rain has cleared up and um, you can see views all around. It's pretty Hello, it is I don't know, two or three in the afternoon. I've got about six more miles or nine, depending on how far I want to go. And I stopped for lunch, dried out my tent because it was still really wet from the other night. Not a lot to report. It's kind of uh, really great views this morning, and now we're just like, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. The rest of the day is going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. So, the elevation, elevation gains and losses are just killer and it really is slowing me down. And I really want to be done Thanksgiving weekend, but I have about 40 miles I have to make up in order for that to happen. If I average 17 a day, including like, you know, resupply days and all that. So, yeah, just trying to figure out how I'm going to make it happen and not have my legs fall off. Oh, and I totally bit it twice today. Just the leaves are piled up and you can't, they're not smushed down enough to see the roots all the time. All right, haven't really, I saw a couple section hikers and dang hikers, but uh, Mushroom's ahead of me and he's doing the, the longer miles today. And we hiked with nowhere, or camp last night with nowhere and her dog, Maifa, I think is how you say it. She was really nice. But they are only doing 16 a day, so I will 
not see them again, likely. So. <sighs> not the most exciting uh, terrain. Surprise view here. Good evening. So in a strange turn of events, I actually made it to camp before dark, got my tent set up, and I'm going to make some dinner and try to plan out the next few days. Did just under, I think, just about 19 today. So we have 30 or so, 32 to hot springs. And then need to plan out what it looks like from there. It's like a day and a half to hot springs. So I don't really want to stay at Standing Bear. I haven't heard great things. I do need to pick up a package there, though. So I need to decide if I'm going to stay in Hot Springs or Standing Bear. Not sure. What I do know is it sounds like COVID is getting so bad again. And so I'm super happy to be out here and not at home. <sighs> and if everybody locks down again, I don't know, maybe just sprint to the finish and have my husband come pick me up and... I will be in quarantine with everybody else, I guess. Yeah, not sure. So I'm just trying to figure out the next, like, two weeks. So unfortunately, I'm getting another late start this morning. Um, some folks rolled in around 10.30. I'm uh, having some Rocky Road oats and a double espresso. And hopefully that'll get me moving. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get 22 in um, unless I night hike again, which I probably will do because i got to get to town. Good morning. How's it going? So the three gentlemen who rolled in at 1030 last night, um, they look to be about my age, did not acknowledge me this morning or apologize for not turning on their red lights or, well, one of them did, the other two did not, or just generally being loud um, and disturbing me. I mean, I obviously woke up, I turned on my headlamp to get my earplugs out because I do not sleep with earplugs when I'm camping alone just because I want to be able to hear like what's around me. So my alarm went off at 6.30 because when they came in and woke me up and I was up forever, I changed it from 5.30 to 6.30 because I knew I would not get up at 5.30. So I'm bummed that I lost an hour of hiking today, at least daylight hiking. I'm definitely gonna have to night hike now. And so they were getting up, like as I was packing up, they were kind of like making breakfast and stuff, didn't acknowledge me. Like I looked over like to say hi and they just were like, oh, yawn, I'm so tired. I'm like, screw you, like you passive aggressive middle-aged man, what is wrong with you? Ah. <sighs> So, you know, it's the funny thing about the trail is, like, it's kind of like real life, except better. Usually people are so kind and so nice and so polite, like, overly polite, too polite. And sometimes, though, just like in real life, kind of jerks. But guess what? I can hike faster than them, so I probably won't ever see them again. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to Big Butt Mountain today. Yeah, great name. Insert joke now. You done? Okay. Going up big butt. And... <laughs> All right, so I will show you the climb. It's about 2,000 feet, shouldn't take, but you know, forever. <laughs>
down from the Howard Rocks area. We have some beautifully built trail. Then some scrambles and things like that, which have been have a nice break, but also hard when you have a lot of elevation gain and loss and you're trying to uh, get in the miles. Ooh, looks like the video's gonna be a little dark in the shade. Afternoon, it's about 4.30, then 17. Another five, five and a half to do. So it'll probably be 6.30 or seven because it is the 2,000 foot climb left. So I am just doing a little bump here and then downhill for a mile and then four and a half up. So yeah, it's going to be a longer day. Um, I made okay time. I had a long lunch, but I got a late start because of our late arrivals who woke me up last night. So yeah. It's been kind of a boring afternoon compared to our beautiful morning. And I'll be around 11 miles from the hostel. I'm going to pick up my recycle box and shower and laundry and all that tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay the night or move on. Um, the one place I really wanted to eat in town is closed on Sunday, so I'm not feeling super thrilled about that. All right. Probably the last time I will check in unless I see something super spectacular. Otherwise, it's just crunchy leaves. Crunchy, 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 crunchy leaves. It's like nails on a chalkboard at this point. Ah. Oh, but I'm well under 300 miles now, so that is like super exciting. Gorgeous sunset. I'm gonna have to get my headlamp out. A little windy this morning. Right, I have to five miles outside of Hot Springs, going down this dirt road. We've actually done the part of the trail that we're going to hit here in a minute. It's called Lover's Leap. It's a loop. Um, and about half of it is on the AT. And then into Hot Springs, where I need to find some real food because I am out of snacks. So we have a pond that's been dammed up here. Nothing too exciting. It's kind of pretty. There's the river down there. I'm going to be going over that in about a mile. There is, there's the town of Hot Springs. We're gonna head down there now. 